Earlier this week, we reported here how Al Qaeda is working to recruit folks who speak English. Anyone who would blend in, really, in the United States. A family in Tennessee, all too aware of this, as a man from there is now accused of traveling to Yemen, converting to radical Islam, and attacking American soldiers right here in the United States. The attack happened last summer. It was a deadly shooting outside of an Army recruiting center in Little Rock, Arkansas. One soldier killed, another wounded. The suspect, Abdul Hakim Mohammed, his family says he had a regular childhood, that wasn't his name back then, playing sports, eventually going off to college in Nashville. But while he was away at school, the parents say everything changed. His father joins us live now, Melvin Bledsoe, uh, with us from our station in Memphis, Tennessee. Sir, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what happened? What happened is my son went to school in Nashville. I mean, he, he grew up at, in Middle America. Um, a lucky go, happy kid, loved to play sports, dance, rap music, the normal teenager kid stuff. And went off to college and, and learned, uh, well, he wanted to change his religion. Uh, he wanted to study, um, first he wanted to study Judaism. And uh, he went to some of the synagogues and he said he didn't think he was accepted. So he went to a mosque in Nashville and started studying uh, Islam. And, and, okay, but now, plenty of people, people study Islam and, and don't become radicalized at all. Is it your sense that the people from whom he was study, with whom he was studying radicalized him? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, I say that because um, he started changing uh, after uh, he started going to the mosque in Nashville. And we could see some changing in his attitude. And later he changed his name. And then he said he wanted to go off to school and uh, study more of uh, Islam uh, and religion uh, in Yemen. Um, and he had met some people in Yemen, uh, from Yemen in Nashville, and uh, they promised him uh, that he would have a place to stay while he um, go there and teach English. Did he say why he was going? I mean, were you worried about it? Oh, well, sure. I mean, quite naturally, you know, as a parent, you always worry about your child, but you wanted to see him you know, explore, go to, you know, see other parts of the world and, you know, maybe grow up, meet more mature, come back in, in a year's time and, sure. and can do good things here in America. Had his views changed by then? Had he expressed different views to you by then? And if so, what? He, he did ex ex express different views as to uh, he didn't want to uh, dance anymore. Uh, he certainly didn't uh, want to partake in any kind of alcohol and, and uh, he just change his, his attire, his dress, and uh, sure, there was some concern about it. Did he start saying that. bad things about, about our society or the way it's run or its people, its leaders, anything? No, he, he mainly talked about uh, the, the music, uh, the way of lifestyle, the, the dancing, uh, the, the sexual things, you know, that he didn't uh, like and didn't uh, want to do any parts of that uh, in, his, in his life. That, that, that I understand that, excuse me for interrupting, but I... What I'm curious about is when it was that he took, those are some basic tenets of Islam, no alcohol, you know, the, the music, all the rest. And, right. But when was it that he changed to where he thought he might want to kill an American soldier? Did that happen in Yemen? And if so, how, do you know? Yeah, I, I think that that all got radicalized part of him in Yemen. He was, he was um, stopped and arrested because he had overstayed his visa. And um, from my understanding, when he got back, he was placed in house and in jail cell with known terrorists. He was um, then uh, interviewed by uh, American government, FBI, uh, and, 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 you know, and all those times while he was there for about three months, uh, of course, uh, the people he was in house and jail with were uh, people who did not like America, you right. know, and, and, and him being a new convert, a new convert, uh, you know, that just confused him altogether as to what he was told about his, his own people in, in America and his country and what they were doing to other people off in the war. Now, he, uh, he ended up on a job watch. I'm sorry, he ended up on a watch list, didn't he? Like, the government was watching him, but you didn't know it. I did not know that. It, you know, that was so disappointing to me that uh, from my investigation and from my research on this whole matter now, he basically had been watched by the American government, FBI, from the time he left Nashville. And even when he got back, the same agent and, and interviewed him in, in Yemen, in jail, interviewed him back in Nashville when he came back to America uh, last year. Melvin Bledsoe, the, the father of the suspect who wants it out, the word out, my son wasn't like this. Somebody got a hold of him. Melvin, thank you very much, sir. It's very nice of you to be here. Good luck to you.